Good morning, everyone. Oh, I thought I was going to do that anymore. You're watching the Christiana 321. I am the Christiana, and hang on, I gotta back up real quick. Um, so basically, today is. Nope. I'm not filming this in January. Today is December 17th, which means it is a Hecker's home game. And because of where I live, that means that the streets are parking lots. Like, literally, there are people parked all up and down the street, not just, oh, crazy traffic. Um, but it also means that because of where we live, I can't go the normal way to the grocery store. So if I want to go to the grocery store I normally go to, I have to go a roundabout way, which takes me by some other grocery stores. Green Bay is not made for having a uh, professional sports team. Um, I guess in some ways it is because it has one and that's why it's, you know, still exists and has uh, reasonable, like, amenities or whatever. But anyway, it is 44 degrees out, which is why it's okay that I'm out with wet hair. It's not going to freeze. I'm also wearing flip-flops. What? What? What am I doing? I'm trying to get sick, I guess. Anyway, going to the grocery store to do a little bit of our normal shopping. We're not getting a whole lot this week just because, um, like with Christmas and everything, we're going out of town and we will need to get stuff for Christmas. So, we should probably do that soon. Did I already say welcome to Vlogmas Day? Probably 19? <laughs> oh, jeez. So, first issue of going grocery shopping right now in Green Bay. Well, we have a home game for the Packers. Is I've got to deal with people parked all up and down the street and not being able to take my normal route. The second problem is, so the game starts in about 45 minutes. That is the absolute wrong time to be going grocery shopping. I have not done this in Green Bay before, but when I lived in Nina, going grocery shopping the morning of a Packers game, it, you would just hate yourself. Why, why would you do that to yourself unless you absolutely had to? So I can't imagine that in Green Bay it's going to be any better. Could be. It's not going to be. But I figured I'd vlog it. It's the longest intro for... <laughs> I'm going on a grocery shopping trip. Um, I've got a little bit of a list. Like I said, we're not getting a whole lot of stuff just because it, you know, we're not going to be in town the whole week. Um, so I've got a little bit of a list. Mostly like snacks and lunches kind of thing. Then I've got, uh, we've got a Christmas party this evening that we've got to make some appetizers for, which we're going real simple. We're, blah, 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 blah. we are just doing a like pigs in a blanket kind of thing. Um, and then, let's see, there are a few places that I can cut over, like once I've gotten done like a wide berth of the Packers stadium. There's one street that I absolutely 100% know I'll be good to go on. It takes me down by John's Warehouse. Um, and I gotta get Starbucks anyway because I've not eaten anything yet. And I'm, I deserve a little treat for going to the grocery store at this time of day in Green Bay. Um, so I think after that next bridge, I should be able to get over without too much issue. Oh, it looks like I probably could have taken that late. Oh, well. So, I'm hoping that this is... For my own sanity, I hope that this is a very boring vlog and I end up not actually posting it. However, for the sake of the vlog and having videos for Vlogmas, I hope that it is insane and I get, you know to see some madness. Who are we playing? I think 
So officially now I care about two teams. I care about the Chiefs and I care about the uh, Packers. But that does mean sometimes, like I don't care about football enough to really care about any of that. Uh, so I do get some things mixed up on occasion. For instance, I know one of the teams is playing the Patriots. I'm pretty sure the Chiefs are playing the Patriots today. Um, and we are playing the Buccaneers. Last night, whenever I was out filming the um, holiday drink video from a couple of days ago, um, we kept seeing people in Buccaneers jerseys. And we were, um, we actually, there's a specific hotel in Appleton, the Paper Valley, that the opposing team normally stays at. And by normally, I mean basically all the time. Um, so, where am I? Am I in the right, where I think that I am? But so anyway, we were right on the road by the Paper Valley. We even stopped in the hotel. We saw a big old charter bus uh, letting people out where we were uh like i didn't recognize any of them and it was way too late at night for it to be the actual team showing up so it was probably supporters of some sort maybe there were famous people in there i don't know um uh, yeah anyway gosh didn't i say i was gonna stop this intro oh but so i do know we are playing the buccaneers and they seemed fine. Some of the fans, some of the fans were like chill and cool and like they're kind of becoming friends uh, with some of the Packers people because there are also a lot of Packers fans out and about. Um, and so they were all like, yeah, kind of friendly. Uh, what word can I say? Um, poop talking each other uh, for for the algorithm. I'll say they were, they were poop talking, but in like a, a camaraderie kind of way. There were some people though who were just kind of rude. I'm not positive that they were Buccaneers people actually, um, other than the fact that normally people up here in Wisconsin don't. Uh, aren't in that way. I don't know how to describe it without being mean. And I am now Midwest nice. So, um, I better get Starbucks. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I'm so mad. I'm at hy V. I I gotta show you this. Can't see it yet. Yeah, I'm definitely. Oh. What are their names? That was bedtime. A little kid just completely ate it uh, right in front. As I was walking up to the reindeer, uh, yeah, this little tiny kid just completely fell over and it was very sad, but it scared one of the reindeer. And then uh, they were being loud, so I don't know if you could hear them, but there's reindeer. So for any of you unaware, uh, Hive is not a normal grocery store. It's a little bit, I don't know, you'd almost call it like fancy version of Walmart, like expensive version of Walmart, where they've got, oh, it's like food court, which is not a Walmart thing. Uh, they've got this whole like Packers section um, with like their cosmetic whatever like area. It's also like much bigger than a typical supermarket. But then they have regular supermarket stuff too. Um, it's also something that would be good for the Christmas ball, which if you know, you know. I've talked about it before. Maybe that'll be tomorrow's video. We'll see.
I will say, Target has cup holders in their um, things. So, ah, my hands are cold. So, it's not super crazy here, which is good. It is where they, or when they've decided to um, do the restocking. So, got a little bit of crazy, but not, not anything too bad. Um, have you guys seen this Fruit Loop flavored milk? It sounds amazing. Um, but also, so getting that as a surprise for John. And then also, oh, I'm gonna, I would ruin my cart um, pile to show you. But I uh, also got some dino nuggies and some other stuff. So we could have just like an appetizer, eat like a five year old kind of night. I don't know, it seems like the kind of thing he would like. Um, some watermelon juice, which I love, and then some um, some more eggnog. Those were not on the list, but it seemed important. Well, that was rather uneventful, other than the reindeer, that was really cool. Um, $150 for... Ooh. I mean, I did get some frivolous things, and I definitely got more than what we're just gonna eat for the week because a lot of it can be frozen. But still, geez Louise. Oh, there's a limo over there. Interesting. Anywho, we are going to head home. Um, if I don't talk to you again, like if this video is more than, um, goes on beyond this, wait. Backwards. I have some options in California. So it's a limited amenity. Um, sure on as it it must have AC. Must have. So I didn't really choose a good way to get home from the grocery store, but I did sort of want to show you how the streets are right now. Um, I don't know how well it's showing up though, because I've got rain on. Uh, rain drops on places and I don't want to actually go close to the stadium because then like I'm gonna get turned around but I want you to see where people are getting turned around so maybe I should I don't know there's a lot of cars with little things on their windshield oh I think they're like advertisements for something or other not tickets I'm hoping they're not tickets let's see Right now, I mean, we are further from the stadium than I would want to be walking, um, but, you know, street parking is free, um, businesses that are a little bit closer, or, uh, I tried to get a couple of shots of people's yards, where, um, they've got people parking in the yard, because, um, people will just, like, rent parking spots and like on their lawn um which seems like a way to really destroy your lawn very quickly uh, but if you're close to the stadium you get 20 bucks a car if you can fit i don't know four or five cars on your on your property eight home games a season not bad it's not, you know, gonna pay your mortgage or anything, but it will, you know, cut into your property tax for the year or something. I don't know how home ownership works. John's location is really good. If you could get into his backyard easily, um, which you can't, uh, at least not with a car, then he could actually probably charge even more, like 25-ish a spot, and he's got a decent number, like a decent sized backyard. I don't know, he could probably fit uh, if you include front yard space, backyard space in his driveway, if he made me go park somewhere else for the day, I'd say easily 10 cars. 25 bucks a piece. 
It's two fifty per home game. Eight home games. Two thousand dollars. I don't know. Public math is hard. I think that's two thousand though. That would be amazing and pay a good chunk of his mortgage. But then you do have to deal with like, um, like the parking situation and people who, um, yeah, I don't know. It seems like a bad choice if you care about your grass. I will either cut it out or um, just deal with the copyright. All roads. Hi, Santa. Hi, Santa. Hi, other Santa. Hi, Santa. Hi, Santa. Hi, Santa. Hi, Grinch. Oh, not at him yet. There's a Grinch. It's so lifelike. Bunch of people have daylight sun. Flamingos. I'm just taking pictures. So we're at the Brown County uh, light show. I don't know. If a lot of that was just silent for you, because copyright and I had to cut it out the music. But now we're going to get a picture. It's kind of cold outside. Okay, so I am now back here where I close out vlogs that I forgot to close out in the moment. Fortran says hi. Um, so I hope that you had fun with me today going grocery shopping, then going to see the lights. I didn't film anything at um, the Christmas party because it was not a, uh, it was not that kind of environment. We were the only two people of our generation there. There's mostly older relatives of John's. It was, it was a lot of fun though. We had so many pigs in a blanket. I made a double batch. Um, I should have just made a single batch. But, yeah. Like I said, lots of fun. Uh, we have lots of pigs in a blanket left over, so guess what I'm having for lunch tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah. Happy Vlogmas Day 19. I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 20. What are we doing for Vlogmas Day 20? I don't know. But we'll find out. Good night, sweet dreams.